turning to a story now that will have everyone talking in the day ahead. The D.C. Council meets to vote today on legislation to change a very specific law in the district. That's right. And, you know, this is a city where we're taught to, if you see something, say something. And this is about carrying guns, concealed guns. And I think that uh, it's going to be a hot button issue all day long today. Brianne Carter live in Northwest D.C. with the details. Good morning, Brianne. Good morning to you. In a matter of hours, the D.C. Council is expected to take up that legislation that would change the gun laws here in the nation's capital. Now, the proposed legislation would allow D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier and her department to issue permits for people to be able to carry concealed weapons here within the district. Now, the chief says that this is not very different from the permits that are already being issued for people who have registered handguns. There are a number of stipulations that go with getting one of these permits. Now, currently, as you know, it's only legal to have a gun within your home and Lanier's department is handling those permits as well. So she says that they will be continuing to do that. Now to obtain a concealed carry permit, a person must have completed firearms training. There also must be no recent history of any mental illness. A person must also present a valid reason as to why they believe, perhaps for protection or something like that, that they need to be able to have a concealed carry permit. Now the change comes after a U.S. District Judge ruled that it was unconstitutional to ban gun owners in DC from carrying their firearms. Now, under this proposed legislation, there are still a number of places across the District of Columbia that you would not be able to have a concealed weapon. If this is passed today by the DC Council, and according to a number of reports, it looks like that may end up happening, the mayor would then have to sign off on it. This legislation, emergency legislation, would then be in effect for the next 90 days. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.